the supplier. The council says the lights have now arrived and Lake users have no doubt the trial will be a success. They've arrived three months late, but the council says at least it's before the end of daylight saving. There's also a whole lot of benefits associated with the new lighting. For instance, there's the opportunity for people to use the lake for more hours of the day, and it also in increases community safety around the whole precinct. Six bollard lights have been installed. Taller street-type lighting is due to arrive next week and will also be considered as part of the trial. Lake users say it's long overdue. I really encourage people to get out and exercise, especially in the winter times. Obviously, because people more people will come up here. I would think, yeah. The trial will run for a year, with the lights to operate between 5 o'clock in the morning and 11 at night. The council will seek feedback from the community before making its decision. It seems people are really positive about having lighting the whole way around the lake, so the next step is to seek that community feedback and then potentially lobbying the state government for in-kind. The lights haven't even been switched on and already they've been given a positive response. But I think it definitely needs to be around the whole lake, yeah, because you don't want to be walking half of it in the dark. Ebony Jordan, Wind News.